Hello and welcome to Mensil Academy. So in this video, we are going to learn about Nmap, which is a network mapping tool. I will be opening it using Kali Linux. If you haven't heard about or used Kali Linux before, I will link to a video that will explain the basics of Kali Linux. But with Kali Linux, uh, Nmap comes pre-installed, so we can just dive directly into it. You open the terminal and then you just write Nmap, which is the keyword to activate the tool. When you do this for the first time, you will see some uh, basic text right here that explains a bit about it and what you can uh, do and how you can combine commands. The first thing we are going to do is to try use the example here. So we have the nmap example. So nmap uh, slash oh mapos a, and then we can scan me uh, dot nmap dot org. And that's a server that they have set up for us to use. So if we use this, what Nmap will do is that it will scan this particular host and look for open ports, uh, etc. So for example, here we see that there is open port 80, open port 22, and we start to see some other ports as well, and the IP of that host. Here we use the domain name scan.me.nmap.org. But of course, that is translated into an IP, which is this uh, 45, uh, 33, uh, etc. So that was that is a way that you can quickly scan uh, your host. For example, if you're having an online server or you want to scan uh, another target, if you're, for example, a pen tester and need to test if there is vulnerabilities on there. Uh, Let's try and uh, see what the services this ex uh, exactly uh, has running. So by just typing in the domain name or the IP in Nmap, it will uh, display you the ports and the services running on those ports, or at least what it guess is running uh, on those ports. So here it returns the ports, the state, and the possible services that are running on those ports. So let's say we would like to test uh, one of those vulnerabilities. Here Nmap comes with some default uh, scripts, so we can navigate to the following uh, folder. Ah. And if we type ls here to list what's in, you see there is a lot of files here with uh, different names. We have some for HTTP, we have some for uh, UL, uh, we have some for who is IP, where basically what all these is is uh, pre-built scripts that comes with Nmap and these are .nse file, which is the uh, nmap scripting engine uh, file type. Uh, and here you can have one called Voldemort uh, info. So what these can be used for is instead of you uh, write, going out searching for scripts or writing your own, you can quickly use some of these default ones that is already proven capable to test uh, the host that you are scanning for. So as you see, there is a lot of scripts that can uh, be used. Uh, the list is very long and you can dive into uh, these uh, and uh, read more about the most popular ones uh, online. But let's just try to use a quick one to uh, use on this uh, scan me inmap. Oh. Uh, and what we do here is uh, double dash and then we choose the script that we want to use. So in this one, we'll just use uh, the script you see right here, vulnerabilities.nse, just to see, uh, do a quick scan for vulnerabilities on this uh, host. So uh, the scan is now completed, and what we see here is that the that it has returned uh, a lot of information. So basically, we have scanned through the ports that were on this host. For example, the port 22, which is the SSH. Uh, here we see what version uh, is actually running, and then it uh, provides some uh, SVE uh, that uh, is the vulnerabilities that could be uh, used on this particular version. And then we can read more about each of these here. So of course, this should not be used with, ma with malicious purpose, but this can be very useful if you have your own uh, server running or you are being hired by others to test their servers or host for vulnerabilities. So this was a quick intro to Nmap. 
Uh, remember to like and subscribe, and then I will see you next time here on Vinslow Academy.